Now the state of Florida is bracing for a potential major category 4 hurricane. Hurricane Helene is forecast to make landfall today with winds of up to 130 miles an hour. At least 20 counties are under evacuation, plus Georgia and North Carolina are under states of emergency. ABC's Rena Roy is tracking Helene from Tampa. This morning, Hurricane Helene is on track to explode into a powerful category 4 storm before slamming into Florida today. High winds and heavy rain already hitting some areas like Marco Island. The storm first unleashing its fury on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, flooding streets and taking down trees in Cancun, and soon expected to make landfall on the eastern part of the Florida Panhandle, with winds up to 130 miles per hour and up to two feet of rain expected in some areas. We all hunker down together and we make the best of it. In the capital city of Tallahassee, more than 200,000 in the direct path, many getting out. I got a bad feeling about this one. Like we've never taken that direct hit. If our community remains central in Helene's path as forecasted, we will see unprecedented damage like nothing we have ever experienced before as a community. Storm surge could reach 20 feet equivalent to a two-story building. The National Weather Service calling it catastrophic and or potentially unsurvivable. Mandatory evacuations have been ordered in at least 20 Florida counties. Extreme measures also taken at Tampa General Hospital. This is what's called an aqua fence, a portable barrier that officials hope will help divert flood water away from the hospital. A big concern, power outages, which could extend well inland. Still a cat one overnight into early Friday. That's why we're worried about trees down and we're talking trees into homes all over Georgia and North Florida. Officials say 18,000 linemen are already strategically staged across Florida and more are on the way. And Tampa's airport closed just a short time ago ahead of the hurricane and emergencies have been declared as far north as Virginia because of flooding concerns. Rena Roy, ABC News, Tampa.